let's differentiate the unit vectors r hat and theta hat with respect to the angle theta. So we're looking at the theta derivatives of r hat and theta hat. In the past few videos, we've actually introduced the unit vectors that are used in polar coordinates for two dimensions. So I'm going to write down the definitions of r hat and theta hat in terms of i hat and j hat. So i hat and j hat are the Cartesian unit vectors. So first, let's write down r hat. r hat is equal to cosine theta times i hat plus sine theta times j hat. So this is just breaking up that angle into its horizontal and vertical component. So cosine theta and sine theta. So this is the radial unit vector. Now, what about the tangential unit vector? Well, the tangential unit vector is theta hat, and that's equal to minus sine theta times i hat plus cosine theta times j hat. So this is the horizontal and the vertical components, respectively. So you can see what happens when you rotate the vector by a quarter of a cycle, or 90 degrees. Cosine turns to minus sine, and sine turns to cosine. It's the same as differentiating. And we're actually going to see why it's the same as differentiating in this video, because we're going to take the theta derivative of both of these guys. If you are interested in to, to seeing where all of this stuff actually comes from, make sure to check out the previous two videos in the quantum mechanics playlist. You can find that if you click on the link in the description below. So let's get started. First, let's focus on this guy over here. So what we want to do is we want to take the derivative of r hat with respect to theta. So what is that equal to? That is the derivative with respect to theta of all of this mess over here. So we need to put all of this stuff here in the brackets. We have i hat, and then we have sine, theta, and here we have j hat. So what is this going to turn into? Well, what we have to do is we have to realize that i hat and j hat are fixed. They do not depend on theta. They're going to remain right here. They're going to remain at the origin, and j hat is going to continue pointing in the vertical direction, and i hat is going to continue pointing in the horizontal direction. These are fixed unit vectors. They are the coordinate system for Cartesian coordinates in two dimensions. So these guys, we can actually treat them like constants. These vectors are not changing if we change theta. If you nudge theta a little bit, i and j do not change. But cosine of theta does change, and sine of theta does also change. So what we have to do is we have to differentiate cosine theta, and we have to differentiate sine of theta. So let's do that. The derivative of cosine of theta is minus sine of theta. So we're going to get minus sine of theta, and we still have i hat. What's going to happen to sine? Well, sine is going to turn to cosine. So we have cosine of theta, and we're multiplying by j hat. But have a look at this. Is this familiar? This is exactly the definition that we have written up here. So this is equal to theta hat. We have theta hat over here. So theta hat is actually the derivative of r hat. r hat, when you differentiate it with respect to theta, you will get theta hat. Now, why does that happen? Well, it's because cosine of theta, when differentiated, turns to minus sine of theta, and that's the same uh, as what you get when you rotate by pi on 2 radians. It's a quarter of the way around the, the unit circle. And it's the same thing that happens to sine. Sine, when you rotate pi on 2 radians, you'll get cosine of theta. So differentiation is very similar to a geometric rotation of 90 degrees. So that's, that's a very important property for trigonometric functions. These guys, sines and cosines. So we've done the derivative of r hat, and we got theta hat. Now let's do theta hat. Let's take the derivative of theta hat with respect to theta. What I want you to realize is that uh, this is a common point of con confusion. So you want to ignore uh, the hat when you're just talking about the angle, and you want to include the hat when you're talking about the unit vector. So the hat always signifies that we have a unit vector over here. This angle over here, this is a scalar, right? Theta is just an angle. It's a scalar quantity that uh, depends on the coordinate that we're actually looking at. 
So if we are at a point in two-dimensional space, theta is describing the angle to that point. And by convention, we define the positive horizontal axis to be zero, and upwards from that is positive angle, and downwards from that is negative angle. So let's have a look at what happens when we differentiate this guy. When we take the derivative of this guy, let's substitute in the definition. So we have the derivative with respect to theta of, we have to put this definition in. So we have minus sine theta times i hat, and then we have plus cosine theta times j hat. We'll close the brackets. So you can see this is from the definition that we have up here. So what, we, what do we have to do? We have to, again, treat these vectors as constants because they're not changing with respect to theta. If you nudge theta, you're not going to get any change in i hat or j hat. But you will get changes in sine theta and cos theta. So the derivative of sine theta is cos theta. But what we have is a minus sign over here. So what we're going to get is minus cos theta. So we're going to get negative cosine of the angle. So negative cosine theta times i hat. And what are we going to get over here? Well, cosine theta, when we differentiate that with respect to theta, we're going to get minus sine theta. And minus sine theta, we can put over here. So we have minus sine theta, and then we have j hat. Now, what do we have over here? This is not as clear as we, we had over here. Here we had a very clear indication that this is just equal to theta hat. We literally had the definition. What we have to do is actually factor out a minus sign. And we, if we factor out this minus sign, we'll get cosine theta times i hat plus sine theta times j hat. Now, can you see what this is? This is just the definition of r hat. But what we had to do was factor out a minus sign from both of these terms. So this is actually equal to minus r hat. So this is the relationship between the, the two vectors, the two unit vectors. What we have is that when you differentiate the first guy, when you differentiate the radial vector with respect to theta, what do you get? Well, you just get theta hat. So that's when you differentiate this guy. But then you have a little anti-symmetry. We have to introduce a minus sign. When you differentiate theta hat with respect to theta, you will get minus r hat. So that's what we got over here. We got minus r hat. So it's actually a very analogous relationship. Just there's a minus sign when you differentiate this guy. We're going to be using these two equations over here to simplify a lot of expressions in the next few videos. We're also going to have a look at what happens when we differentiate with respect to time, and we want to have a look at an alternative way of differentiating these guys. So the important takeaway message is that when you differentiate r hat with respect to theta, you just get theta hat. So it's the same as rotating 90 degrees, which is pi on 2 radians. And this guy over here, when you differentiate theta hat, with respect to theta, what do you get? You get minus the radial vector. So you get the negative of the radial vector. Because if you think about it, if I draw these little guys, so let's say we have, uh, they're pointing in some arbitrary direction. So this is r hat over here. If we rotate that 90 degrees, we will get this. We get theta hat. So this guy actually describes the derivative of this guy. And if we rotate another 90 degrees, we will have minus r hat. And this guy describes the derivative of this guy. So when you differentiate, you're just rotating by 90 degrees. Here you have 90 degrees, and here you have another 90 degrees. So when you differentiate twice, you end up with a minus sign. So you've just rotated the vector uh, back onto itself. So it's in pointing in the opposite direction. So this is the radial direction, and this is the tangential direction. Now, why does that relationship with uh, rotation come into play? Well, it's a consequence of these trigonometric functions. The trigonometric functions, when you take the derivative, it's the same as shifting an angle by a quarter of a cycle. So that quarter cycle shift is the same as rotating by a quarter of the way around the unit circle. And that's what we talked about in the previous video, where we actually drew the unit circle, identified all the angles, and all the lengths. So this is what is going on when you're differentiating. When you differentiate the first time, you go from r hat to theta hat. That's this equation over here. And then when you differentiate again, you go from theta hat down to minus r hat. And that is the derivatives with respect to theta of the unit vectors for polar coordinates. So if you found this video useful, make sure to find the other videos in this quantum mechanics playlist. So if you want to find these videos, all you have to do is click over here.